actually do believe that we make our own luck. I think, uh, of course, all kinds of external things help us, and uh, but it's our decisions ultimately. Each of us is faced with a set of decisions that we make. And uh, I'm hoping I've made a good decision by backing. In fact, I'm quite sure I've made a good decision in backing this film. Um, Amir has always been supportive. Siddharth is, and UTV have been incredibly uh, supportive and very much part of uh, um, the team. And you know, this film is a result of this collaboration between Anand, myself, and UTV. So, um, so I'm hoping luck will also help us. And so will our good decisions. No, actually, we were very conscious of not doing that. Uh, the reason being, this film has a is is was made with in, with an incredible in amount of integrity, and we don't want this you know the audience to take away some sort of diluted version either in a poster or in the promotions, because that would that would set them up for something very different. Um, I think that's, that should be true of all films. It's certainly true of this, that we didn't want to suddenly make it more accessible than the film actually is. Uh, in, in being as honest as we could to the material, we were hoping that the audience, it, it helps an audience make a decision whether they really want to watch this film. Uh, it's, it's not your you know, uh, regular popcorn entertainer where you kind of go in and everything is sort of given to you on a platter. It's the kind of film that you do need to invest thought, invest your time, engage with the, with the film. And, and it requires a certain amount of work on the part of an audience. And, and certainly, we didn't want to give the audience any sort of different impression through either the poster or the promotion. So no, we were very conscious of, of completely representing the film as it is through our promotions. <laughs> Having said that, this is the type of film that really you want the audience to come in to watch it because of the film that it is, rather than the people who are talking about it. Uh, because you need to be prepared to come in for a certain type of experience. So tomorrow, if you have a star simply telling you to watch the film, if you have a star having watched the film saying, I really loved it and I want my audiences also to watch it, that's great. But a star campaigner just building off the image of a star and trying to associate that with a film, I don't quite think that's a route that we want to go down. We are having screenings for a lot of friends and colleagues in the industry, and if they like the film, then I mean we would be happy if they would speak about it and tweet about it and you know uh, spread the word. But to have one single star campaigner might really take away from the essence of what the movie is and become more associated with the image of that star, which is not something that we want. I think we're, we're very, very excited about this initiative because, you know, there have been so many f similar films, maybe not, I mean, each film is unique in its own way, but there have been so many films that have released in the last, say, five years that could have benefited from an initiative of this sort because, you know, frankly, uh, as an industry, we have a one-size-fits-all approach. And because today you've got so many screens available, it becomes very tempting to go ahead and just release a film very widely. But that can actually work to the detriment of films of this kind. These films are films that need to be nurtured, need to be grown, and you need to really be able to reach out and go to those audiences who really want to watch your film and are specifically telling you that this is a film that they want to watch, rather than going as wide as we have been going in the past and then having lower capacities. And what happens then is that the film tends to be tagged because then the occupancies tend to be very low. You still have the same number of people watching it as if you'd have released it very uh, small. But then you've got low occupancies, the film is given a certain tag, and then it can never recover from that. So a film like this really needs the love and care and nurturing that we hope to be able to achieve with this sort of a release.